If I had to start over, for sure the first thing I'm gonna buy are fine jewelry. Today I'm gonna do a tag video that was started by my good friend, Isabel Style. It is about 10 luxury items that I would buy if I had to start over, which would be a really, really traumatic if it really did happen. But hypothetically speaking, I guess these would be my 10 priority items where I have to buy first. Starting with my very first item, which a lot of you would have seen in my very recent unboxing. For me, fine jewelry has kind of created creeped up to the top of my priority list because I realize that I wear them all the time. I see them all the time. Technically, they don't leave my body. I wear them 24 seven. Usually I have all my necklaces and all my bracelets on me at all times, but let's say I don't have them, right? For sure, the first item that I'm gonna repurchase is my Tiffany lock bracelet. A lot of you would have seen this brand new bracelet that I just unboxed on my channel. I love this bracelet so much. I would definitely rebuy this piece first because it gives me so much joy to see all the diamonds on top. It's also a very substantial, edgy, and statement bracelet that, um, I know I couldn't live without. This is such a dramatic tag, Isabel. Oh, hopefully I would still have my wedding wings because those are definitely my favorite so that they can still match together. This is how much I love this bracelet. Would I go for the white gold? Possibly, but you know, I was also really attracted to the rose gold version. I'll see then if that really happens. Hopefully never, knock on wood. <laughs> By the way guys, let me know if you prefer this lighting. I just moved one of my lights from there to here, so it's a little bit more direct on me. Anyway, the second item, which was a little bit hard because we only have 10 choices for this tag, I was umming and eyeing whether I needed to get this as my second item because it's another fine jewelry piece. And no, it's none of my necklaces, although I do wear my necklaces all the time. What trumps my necklace even more is my other bracelet. <laughs> so this is my love bracelet in the small version, and I've had this one for so long. It's literally glued to my arm. I can't even remove this easily, not as easily as the Tiffany lock bracelet. I've gotten so used to it um, and it looks great. It's a slim bracelet but it, it looks great on me. I love it. I feel like it's already part of me. I had a hard time with bags honestly because I could not imagine having to start over with my bags. I would probably start off with this one if I had to start over which is the Chanel 22. I know, it's probably a shocking choice. The only reason why I picked that is because I feel like if I had no bags, right, no luxury bags, and I had to really start over, the first most practical bag that I would probably need in my life is a larger bag, just so that I can stay stylish, but also I know that I can rely on it in terms of space. I had a 22 bag in a small size for a brief time and I really enjoyed it, uh, unfortunately, it didn't work out the first time. I still really miss it. So definitely if I were to start over from scratch, I would get the 22 out of the way. The second handbag I would get, even though it's technically not a handbag, would be some sort of wallet on chain. But I won't opt for Chanel this time. I would try to get an Hermes Constance to go. I don't own that bag yet. I still have it on my wish list. Hopefully I will get it sometime this year. If not next year, we'll see. I figured having a large bag, I would also need a smaller bag for evenings out and for weddings, special events. The beauty about a wallet on chain, or in this case, a Constance wallet to go, is that I can always detach the strap and use it as my evening clutch but also it acts as my daily mini bag. So on days that I really don't need a big bag like the 22, then at least I have a little wallet on chain. The third and final bag is another Chanel bag and it is the Chanel Top Handle Mini. I'm pretty sure I won't be able to get this exact version, but at the very least, I still want a Chanel Mini in my life. And between the regular classic Chanel Mini with no top handle and the top handle version, I actually much prefer the top handle. The Chanel Mini flap is also such a classic. It can be worn quite casually and it can also be quite dressy. Personally speaking, I actually prefer the strap to be thinner because I'm more of a top handle person now, believe it or not. And therefore, I hardly even use the chain even though I do use it, but it's just there for convenience. And therefore, to me, having a thinner chain actually makes the bag daintier and more elegant. The only dilemma at that point would be 
that they would all be in lambskin if I were to get it brand new. I decided to pick three pairs of shoes because I figured as an outfit, bags alone are not gonna do its justice. You definitely need some accessories and shoes. And so for my next pick, I went with some Chanel sneakers. Those are the ones that so far has worked for me in terms of comfort and um, they're just so classic, black and white. They are also casual enough that I could wear them on the daily, but they're also polished enough that I can still sort of like casualize a more elegant outfit if that makes sense. My next pair of shoes that I would add back also are from Chanel and they are the rain boots. I wonder if this is kind of an unexpected choice for you guys but ever since I own these rain boots I actually wear them quite a bit especially in those colder seasons we definitely have longer stretches of just pouring rains and uh, on those days you just really can care less but just have some rain boots on and why not just the most bougie Chanel rain boots out there, right? Plus, these are actually my most comfortable rain or just boots in general. They are so comfortable, like the padding underneath is just excellent, so I highly recommend them. And therefore, I like them so much that I have to add them back in my life for sure. One more pair of shoes and I selected the Jimmy Choo Bing 65. Yes, I like them so much that I have to add them back. I figured I have some practical everyday sneakers. I even have the rain boots for the weather and the elements. So I definitely need a pair that is more on the dressier side. One that I would wear less often, but I know I can rely on them when I have a special occasion or if there's a party. Those are so, so comfortable as a pair of heels. They're not too high. They're just 65 millimeter. And I haven't really found any other luxury heels that fit me and also are comfortable in that I can withstand a few hours in that. <laughs> Only two choices left. And I'm telling you guys, this tag was uber difficult. I guess you have to start somewhere, right? And I'm trying to be inclusive of all categories. So for sure, the next item I have to add would be an accessory. Like I said earlier, I don't think it would be reasonable for anyone to start over to just buy all bags anyway. The next accessory that I decided to go with is my Kelly pocket belt. And I have two reasons for that. So obviously the Kelly belt in its self is super classic and will elevate any outfit. This has literally become my favorite belt anyway. So um, I had to choose this belt. The black and the gold is the perfect combination. It will also go with all the bags that I chose earlier. But not only that, I especially went with the Kelly pocket version because it comes with this detachable little card holder and since I'm not choosing any small leather goods in this list because there's only 10 I can go for I figured this would be my temporary card holder it would be my mini wallet for the time being and so I kind of killed two birds with one stone I loved styling every outfit with it so much that I even brought two different colors to my Hawaii trip which you could argue that it's overkill, but I felt the need to do it. And I'm such a big fan of the Kelly Pocket version just because you get the extra SLG anyway, so why not? Last but not least, I had to add some costume jewelry. Costume jewelry, you would think that it's not so high on the priority list just because they're just costume, they're not gonna last forever. However, it's not always about practicality and what will last forever. You definitely need some fun sometimes. So although I do enjoy all my beautiful, fine jewelry, I definitely still think that nothing will trump a good statement earring. And for me, the ones that I would definitely pick, if I had to buy it all over again, are these ones. So these are the classic dangly Chanel earrings in the silver with crystal. You cannot beat these ones because you definitely see them. They're there. They have crystals, so they are blingy. Uh, they're not so big, but they're not so small, so they definitely make a statement, but it's still very elegant. And even if I feel like wearing them every day, I can. Because these are a classic, I know that I will be able to repurchase them. I really try to avoid things that I can't repurchase easily because trust me, I thought I would add the Birkins and the Kellys in this list, 
but it's just unrealistic because they're not easily attainable. You will have to restart this whole pre-spend journey. Having said that, I'm sure a mini top handle is not that easy to repurchase. I'm pretty sure the Constance wallet is not that easy to purchase, but at least they're not quota items. And at least, you know, these, as long as you have an essay helping you out, you just have to wait for the right season to come along. But yeah, those are the 10 items. What did you guys think? Also, let me know what you would choose. Like, I guess your top three items if you had to start over again. What are your top priorities? I feel like fine jewelry is a strong, strong category that a lot of people would prioritize in their life nowadays just because they really do stand the test of time and they stay with you for life and they really don't tarnish. I know that a lot of my friends have already been tagged by Isabel, so please guys, if you guys are interested in doing the tag, please go ahead and let me know. Um, but I will also tag a few of my friends that I know haven't been tagged yet. If you're brand new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. I also co-host a live stream every single week, and for the ultimate, ultimate experience, you can also join my membership where you get behind the scenes unboxings and story time. Thank you so much, have a great day, and I'll talk to you guys again very soon. Bye.